Everyone uses the Clash Blaster, even in the North American Championships, it was a 4v4 Clash Blaster, don't go double check that, so if you use it, you'll be basic, just like everyone else. Look at all those Clash Blasters. The Clash Blaster has amazing range. Oh, it has really short range? Well, the Clash Blaster does tons of damage. Oh, it only does a little bit of damage per each hit. Well, it's really good at painting the floor. Oh, it's not very good at painting the floor because it's short range. Well, like most other blasters, it can kill in one hit with a direct. Oh, it takes two directs to get a kill. And four hits indirects otherwise. Well, it has a really fast kill time. Oh, it's really bad at getting kills because it's easy for people to dodge. Okay, so it may not have the most range. And it may not do the most damage. And it may not be the best pain in the floor. And it can't get a one-hit KO like most other blasters. And it may not have the fastest kill time. But... The regular one has Splat Bomb. Splat Bomb's pretty good. Hold down the trigger and run in a straight line. You'll hit something. On my way, I'm gonna be doing this. If you get hit, it's your own fault. Okay, then I'm gonna start kicking air like this. Uh, and if any part of you should fill that air, uh, it's your own fault. You can use the regular Clash Blaster for... I don't know, Stingray, I guess. And with the Clash Blaster Neo, you can use Curlin Bomb to rush the other team's spawn in Turf War and then die. And you can use Tenon Missiles to do nothing, making it the ultimate casual weapon. All right, guys, let's stop kidding ourselves. Everyone knows the best ability in this game is Bomb Defense Up Deluxe, and that's because it's two abilities in one. So, use that. Now here is a gameplay. <laughs> 